Okay, so it's not a cone, it's a pyramid. This is a pyramid in case you're wondering. Uh, pyramids come in a lot of different shapes. This is a square-based pyramid. You can have a triangular-based pyramid, which is where the base is a triangle, and you only have three sides. Um, in case you're wondering why these are named off the pyramids of Egypt, that's because the Egyptians built pyramids. They built these square-based pyramids. I don't think they built triangular prison pyramids, but I can look that up. So, also, I forgot to tell you in the video yesterday, hypotenuse. Uh, you can thank Caden Ruiz for this. Hypotenuse, so the long side of a triangle, speaking of triangles, this guy, the hypotenuse. I told you I don't know what the Greek word stands for because I've never bothered to look it up because I'm lazy, but Caden looked it up for you. Hypotenuse in Greek stems from a root word that means stretched out. And that's because this is stretched out over these two legs. So, in case you're wondering, hypotenuse means stretched out, which is pretty cool. Anyway, back to pyramids. So, we are back to sides, which is S, and H, which is height. So, you notice at the bottom is a square, which means we're dealing with the same thing we were with in the cube. A square, its unique property is that it all the sides are the exact same, right? So once I know one side, I know all the sides. So this side is the same as this side, it's the same as this side, it's the same as this side. Okay? And then height, you start at the very middle of your pyramid, and you go up, and that's your height. Okay? It's glitch, what's the height of your pyramid like? Starting from ground level all the way down, what's the height? Normally we play a candy game where you actually get to see pyramids, but you're not here for that, which is really sad because that's my favorite part of the year. Anyway, I'm going to stop being sad about this. So, once we know our sides, once we know our height, we can just plug into the equation and start going. So I'm going to say that our sides are... Ah, uh, let's have some fun with it. Let's say my size is 3, right? S equals 3, so that means all of my sides are 3. And then height, let's say height is five. No, I'm just pulling this out of my head. That's all I'm doing, okay? Now, in case you're wondering, this S squared comes from the area of the base. That's what we're looking at. What's the area of the base? And since area is length times width, it's just side times side, so side squared. So we're taking the area, multiplying by height, and then we're cutting it in thirds because um, if you were to put this pyramid into a cube, it would only take up one third of the cube. Fun fact, I have a video for this normally, which I might actually link at the end of this video, so stay tuned. So that's where the equation comes from, in case you're wondering. Anyway, let's get to putting stuff in. So we're going to replace our S with 3. We're going to replace our H with 5. So I have 1 third times 3 squared is 9 times 5. I like to do 9 times 5 first. So 9 times 5 is 45. And now we do 45 times 1 third, which turns into 45 over 3, because remember this is over 1, so I just multiply across. 45 divided by 3, get your calculator handy, you can pause me and do that. If you're too lazy to do that and you just want to give the answer, the answer is 15. Okay, so the volume of this is 15. So 15 cubic feet. Everything with volume is going to be cubic something. Just because I'm multiplying 1, 2, 3, three times. Something three times. Okay. In this case, it was sides twice and then height. Because I did the multiplication three times, it's cubic. Should have all of them work. Okay. Moving on to the next one. I'll see you there. Goodbye.